getting a lot of attention too. It's post time. Second fan Hanover elimination. They're off and pacing. Sears guns it with Vivian's Dream down the center. Speed inside from Mall of Hanover. Outside speed from Beach Cowgirl. Up into fourth in between his seaside Tina. Sylvia Hanover's going to march off the car here from McClure as he gets her up and involved early. In at the rail is Cheesy Smile to be along from in fifth. Backing up into sixth now. There goes seaside Tina. We go further back to find Sweet Amira landing seventh. Eighth and off the speed is You Can Do It. Blue Chip. Back there from an eighth position. And Charleston trails at a quarter of 26 and 3. Beach Cowgirl found the front and leads them up to 3 8 Second at the inside, tracks along Vivian's Dream. Then Mollop Hanover, Sylvia Hanover. Pace really slows here. So much so that it looked like Cullen stepped on a wheel with Seaside Tina. They're coming up to the midway point. Beach Cowgirl's up front. Second at the inside, Vivian's Dream. Here outside third comes Sylvia Hanover. Doubled up the rail is Mollop Hanover from in fourth. On cover outside comes Cheesy Smile fifth. Halftime, 56 seconds flat. So great rating on the front end here by Bongiorno who's stealing it. Beach Cowgirl takes them to the final turn. Sylvia Hanover's first over in marching. Vivian's dream is buried in the box from in third. Covered up Cheesy Smile fourth. Mollop Hanover fifth inside but Steppy sixth inside as they track the final turn is You Can Do It Blue Chip. Then outside Seaside Tina three quarters next and Beach Cowgirl hooks up with Sylvia Hanover there and won 22 and 3 and that was a massive cat fight. 26 and 3 speed there in that third quarter into the stretch beach cowgirl sylvia hanover is relentless on the outside and sylvia hanover showing no bottom sylvia hanover draws clear late in the mile sylvia hanover she is just a cut above the rest won it by two lengths over beach cowgirl how about last a third for charleston in between was you can do it blue chip and holding on for that fifth spot vivian's dream Really interesting race here. The eighth on the card, the Fan Hanover eliminations going in 149 and two. A real flashy mile here for Sylvia Hanover. That's a new life's mark for this horse, and that's now a perfect two for two for this filly this year. The yeah. cat fight, 26 and three speed there in that third quarter. Into the stretch, Beach Cowgirl. Sylvia Hanover is relentless on the outside, and Sylvia Hanover showing no bottom. Sylvia Hanover draws clear. Late in the mile, Sylvia Hanover. She is just a cut above the rest. Won it by two lengths over Beach Cowgirl. How about last a third for Charleston? In between was You Can Do It Blue. Hanover. Three-year-old daughter of Always Be Mickey out of the Artiscape Mare Shyway, bred by Hanover Shoe Farms, owned by the Hudson Standard Bridge Stable of Hudson, Quebec. Sean Stacy, the trainer. Bob McClure, the winning reinsman. Two for two now this season after going eight for nine last year. All the brilliance she showed last season, and if anything, she stepped it up a notch here in her three-year-old year early in the season. When you talk special horses, this filly, she's... Sylvia Hanover captures the second fan Hanover elimination. I'm here with driver Bob McClure and trainer Sean Stacy. Bob, I'm going to start with you. A big 149 and two mile, a lifetime best. What do you think about that third quarter? You guys were really dueling out there. Uh, she was kind of towing me, and she she wanted to she wanted to get at it pretty good. I was trying to rate her. She's been off a little while. I figured she'd be a little short, but man, like straight through the wire, strong. It's yeah, you know, every time you think she's going to have an off night, she comes through with an even bigger night than you'd expect. So, like, I know she's a talented filly, but you just went by another talented filly in Beach Cowgirl like it was nothing and opened up. Just talk about how special that was. It's, that's just what you said, special. You know, the Stacys have done a great job maintaining her. She's probably not the easiest horse to train back, so they did a good job there. And I just count my blessings every week that uh, I get to hold the lines on her. Now, last week, you took back in her seasonal debut. Tonight, you drew the six hole. You know, you had to come in first up, a uh, tough trip. W which style do you prefer to race her with? She's way better with a target, you know. Uh, she's not very good. Like, she doesn't like the front till you know, halfway around the last turn. She can get herself caught in. But uh, coming off cover, coming first up, that's, you know, she just loves to mow horses down. She loves to win races. 
It was a special performance. Excellent job, Bob. Good luck ahead of next week's final. Now, Sean, we turn to you. Just as a viewer, I mean, how tense were you in that third quarter when you saw pop up in 26 and change? Uh, I think I was holding my breath just as much as anybody watching the race, that's for sure. She saw a lot of air in that race, and uh, for any horse to keep going forward the way she did, that's super impressive. Now, if you look back to her most recent qualifier, she did make a miscue off that turn. Were you concerned that it would get rectified? Was it just kind of a one-off? I think it was just a one-off. There was a few other horses in there that just weren't carrying speed the way she likes it to be carried. And when he moved her, I think he just went from 0 to 100 too quick. That's all that was. Last year was a situation where Bobby kind of had to ask her and, you know, get her mind going a little bit. This year, she seems a bit more relaxed. Yeah, her mindset's a little stronger, a little better this year, but she uh, she's an incredible horse and just has a totally different mentality than what most do, I guess. She just, the further they go, the stronger she gets. It's weird. Well, it was a great performance, Sean. Best of luck ahead of next week's final. Bob McClure, Sean Stacy, Sylvia Hanover delivering the second Van Hanover elimination.